Hey, my name's Brandon, and I've been an audio engineer for over 20 years. Check this out. These two headphones may look similar, but when you look closely, they're dramatically different. This right here is the big difference. Let me show you. When I take this one and put it up against a surface like this water bottle, it does this. Pretty cool, right? This is a Shox Open Run Pro, which primarily uses bone conduction technology. However, the Shox Open Run Pro 2 produces sound when you rest it against something, and it can produce sound independently. That's because it has bone and air conduction technology, which they call dual pitch technology. It's unique to see both of them combined, which makes this very exciting. One of the most significant advantages of the new Open Run Pro 2's dual pitch technology is that it retains the benefits of bone conduction technology while significantly reducing excess vibration users might feel from bone conduction while increasing audio quality. So what is bone conduction? How does it differ from air conduction? And what is it like when you combine them? Thanks to Shox who is sponsoring this video to help us learn how these two forms of conduction work by comparing their first generation Shox Open Run Pro and the new Shox Open Run Pro 2. As always, the Shox Open Run Pro 2 is an incredibly comfortable, lightweight, open ear design that allows you to be aware of your surroundings. It comes in two sizes, is water resistant, and can handle sweaty workouts and runs. That's why wearing them during a marathon, biking, or other fitness activities has become so popular. Bone conduction, which Shox is famous for, is perfect because it allows you to listen to music without blocking your ear canal for long-term comfort and situational awareness for safety. The Open Run Pro 2 makes that experience even better than before. They have this fantastic new orange color that I begged them to send to me, as well as AI noise canceling and wind-resistant dual microphones, which I'm using right now to talk to you. You. The Shox Open Run Pro 2 has 12 hours of battery life and supports USB-C quick charging, so you don't have to charge with a proprietary charger. Yes! So before we learn more about air and bone conduction, we must ask the following question. What is sound? Simply put, sound is vibrations that produce frequencies, notes, rhythms, speech, and so much more. You can see examples of how vibrations produce sound when you pluck a guitar string and talk or sing with your vocal cords. You can even put water next to a loud sound source, which creates ripples or waves in the water that matches the frequency and rhythm being produced. Keep this in mind for later. Now, let's take a deeper look at the first part of dual pitch technology. I'm fascinated by bone conduction technology, the primary technology in the first generation Shox Open Run Pro. Unlike traditional air conduction speakers, which we'll talk about next, a bone conduction speaker has a transducer that creates vibrations and rests against your cheekbone so that your body is resonating and making the sound. This is like when I rest them against other objects. A traditional air conduction only headphone or earbud does not vibrate like this, so they do not amplify sound when you rest them against something. What's incredibly fascinating about bone conduction is how it bypasses your outer ear and relies on the inner ear. That means you can hear the sound without something covering or entering into your ear, which is perfect for comfort. It's also a technology that makes it possible for those with certain types of hearing loss to hear, which is wild. This is all possible because of vibrations that go through your cheekbone to your cochlea. The cochlea is a critical part of your ear that comes after your eardrum, and that allows you to identify sound through both air and and bone conduction. The cochlea can identify sound because it's filled with liquid that will ripple when it experiences vibrations or sound. Remember how we looked at water rippling when sound was produced earlier? Yeah. That's what's happening in you, and that's how you hear. It's so cool. This works because of the many hair cells in your cochlea that recognize the vibration and waves in the liquid found in your cochlea and are sensitive to different types of waves that represent frequencies. It makes me think of various keys on a piano where some are for lower and others for higher frequencies and notes. This is how you can still hear your voice when you plug your ears, but it also explains why it might feel a bit weird hearing a recorded version of your voice compared to when you usually talk. While bone conduction has some incredible benefits one area that it often struggles with is the low end or bass frequencies. It's hard to make your skull vibrate enough with a tiny bone conduction transducer to perceive enough of that low end. And some users might find the vibrations uncomfortable while wearing them for a long time. That's where air conduction comes in. It differs from bone conduction as it relies on having the enclosure or surface to produce vibrations. This is most often found and referred to as the cone or diaphragm on a speaker. And that's the largest area of a speaker. What's neat is that many Making these components vibrate literally moves air that eventually enters your ear canal, 
reaches your eardrum, and in turn creates waves in the liquid found in your cochlea, hence the name air conduction. You can get an idea of this when you're at a concert by the subwoofer and you feel the air being pushed out with the beat, or you feel your pant leg shake while listening to music in your car. This is the method of most headphones, earbuds, and speakers, and it's much better at producing low-end frequencies. The downside is that it doesn't always sound as good for personal audio use if it isn't over or in your ear like most headphones or earbuds. That's because it relies on your outer ear or your eardrum, and it blocks your ability to hear your surroundings because, well, it's closing off your ear from your environment. So what happens when you combine bone conduction and air conduction technology? We can see what that is like on the Shox Open Run 2, which has dual pitch technology. With the Shox Open Run Pro 2, you get the best of both worlds. The air conduction transducers fill the low end, allowing you to enjoy a fuller sound while keeping your ears free and comfortable. The result is the most balanced and vibrant sound I've ever heard from Shox. Plus, you can adjust the sound to your liking with the equalizer in this Shox app. It's a win-win for comfort and sound quality. It manages to do all that while allowing you to keep your ears free from being covered and plugged so you can be aware of your surroundings and enjoy tons of comfort. And the excess vibration I felt from wearing the previous generation is not noticeable on the Pro 2. If you want to find out more or purchase the new Shox Open Run Pro 2, check out the link in the description, pin comment, or scan this QR code to find the right color and size for you. Let me know if you have any other questions and thoughts on air and bone conduction. And thanks to Shox for sponsoring this video so we can learn more about air and bone conduction. And thanks for watching This Is Tech Today. Until next time.